Okay, so I'm doing another thumbs up video today, or thumbs whatever video. Um, I guess it's a different day for you guys, but it's the same day for me, so I'm just getting a lot of filming knocked out today. The thing I'm doing my video on today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is in 100 Translucent. I don't usually get powders that have a color. Um, so it looks like this. And then mine has some serious pan. It's, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But that's what it looks like. Mine has a lot of pan. I've been working through it. And then you open up the bottom, and it's got a mirror. Ah, you can see my new camera. And it's got this little spongy thing that I don't use for it. But I always save those because I use them for, like, product projects and stuff later on. So, um, the first thing about this powder is, as you saw, it's very powdery. I used it this morning. I like did the thing where you like and get most of it off, and it's still pretty powdery. Um, it's not so bad when you're putting it on your face. I always have problems with it getting up my nose, no matter what powder I'm using. So I haven't noticed it being terribly bad. Alex um, is filmed to get ready with me with when I use this, and he says that it did look really like powder is flying everywhere. So there's that. Um, I'm very picky, well, I'm, I'm somewhat picky about my powders, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of this one. This works really, really well with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. It works moderately well with the foundation I'm wearing today, which is the Hard Candy Glamouflage, and I hate how it works with every other foundation I've tried it with. Um, and the reason why I say that is I use a brush to put it on and when I'm doing that I want the brush to just go like this and any other foundation with this powder and it's not the brush it's not the foundation because I've done it with other powders with this powder it like gets stuck and I have to like use way more powder than I would normally have to use which makes it look a little bit cakey and I just, it's not worth it to me to buy this when I can only use it with one, maybe two foundations. So, I'm really not a big fan of this. I'm not, like, so angry at it that I just wish it was gone, but it's not something I would try again. So, I'm giving this a thumbs down. For me, not worth it, but a lot of people do like it, so, I mean, it might work for you. So, I'll see you again next time. Bye.